Well, hello all. So, on the nether, misty, foggy day here in San Francisco. More like the weather we're supposed to have. It's very refreshing compared to other places on the planet right now. We seem to be cool and comfortable. Let's go right up here and do the video. All right, we've been waiting for all the plane noise to calm down, but I don't think it's going to. People are determined to go vacationing no matter what. The Delta variant, no worry. Water shortages for 2021. Little Redwood Valley. Well, a bit lower, let's try that one again. Little Redwood Valley in California told to use no more than 55 gallons per day. That's about a bathtub full of water. San Jose, California asked to cut use by 15%. But is that enough? Are we being uh, too generous? Okay, let's look at California reservoirs. Trinity Lake, 47%. Shasta, 38%. Oroville Dam, 22%. Folsom, 30%. Pine Flats Reservoir, 38%. Comes another plane. Boy, they're taking off regularly. The Colorado River Basin supplies seven U.S. states and two Mexican states full of drinking water and farming water. But unfortunately, the Colorado River rarely makes it to the ocean anymore. It's all taken from these nine states, use up all the Colorado River water. But as of now, it's the lowest it's ever been in record keeping. What's causing so much stress on the river? Well, obviously overpopulation of both sides of the border between Mexican and the U.S. They're popping out babies as if they're just jelly beans. There's a baby boom on both sides of the U.S.-Mexican border. They're saying just people moving there and the population explosion that's happening down there. So, what are we going to do? We are in a deep shit of trouble. We're seeing loads of reports coming in that we're reaching the top of where we can grow food with the heat and all. And I don't know about you, but I eat most, well, I eat all organic when I can, and most of the food is looking very stressed. Lots of mold, lots of pits, lots of things. It's not like the old days where the food was really fresh and clean and nice looking. It looks pretty haggard and we're going to see more and more of that. The food quality goes down and down. So they'll just mix it up into something, dry it all out and use it as a mix instead of getting your fresh fruits and vegetables. You'll be told, go get your powdered this and your powdered that because you won't know how bad the food really is. I often think of all the music in the 60s that I enjoyed and how so much the 60s is the 2020s, 2020, 2021. It'll, from here on out, we'll be getting more and more people trying to help with this, in, uh, this climate emergency. Hopefully, we'll get our shit together and we'll do something about this, but with current leaders, it ain't gonna happen. We've got to get people to understand that we need to change the people at the top. They just have to be changed out. And it cannot be a right-wing fascist takeover. It has to be a democratic elected takeover. In other words, the majority of the people elect the people and we, and we don't let things like voting rights get in our way. Even if the Supreme Court just basically gave our vote away to whoever screams the loudest. So I'm afraid we're not going to have any more people in the middle. It's all going to be on the right as soon as they start their little charade of screaming the loudest and the Supreme Court will say, oh no, he's elected. He was fairly elected whether he was or not. Well, I definitely like reading all the different uh, comments and people adding to what I'm already saying. I really like that. It's very good. But I do appreciate all your comments your ups, the downs, the new subscribers, and until next time.
Oh, by the way, right now, the smell outside is unbelievable. The mist and drizzle really brings out the very best of the uh, trees. They outgas because it's been so hot and dry lately. So, I really do enjoy the smells of the forest and telling you about it. They're amazing right now.